good morning y'all y'all should know i love y'all because y'all i'll be like <laughs> come on on camera just like y'all will go with me you know what I'm saying? look at the best but <sighs> okay today is day eight of 12 days of christmas we missed yesterday because i told y'all i had absolutely no footage from yesterday literally just to give a recap of what i did yesterday the only thing i did was i went to the um doctors when i woke up because i just had a wellness check because i haven't seen my primary care in a while so i just went to go do a wellness check and she told me that she want me to come back in four weeks for blood work just to make sure everything is fine and um you know she was asking me have i had full blood work lately and i told her well you know i just had babies so you know they take blood all the time but and then she was just telling me that you know my chest pain that i've been having it is because of i sprained a muscle in my chest and she told me that pretty much i'm gonna have to find an alternative way to holding the twins at the same time because it's too heavy for me so that's that <laughs> a perk of having twins and i came home and was just at home i ain't do nothing i want productive nothing so today I don't really need to leave the house today either, but I do have some things that I need to do. So this is definitely going to be a busy week. This is Christmas week. I need to go ahead and get my last minute shopping out the way. Also, in the first or second vlog of 12 Days of Christmas, I told y'all I wanted to do something special to the um, area in the kitchen where I keep my carry. I want, I want to make that a hot cocoa area or like a hot cocoa making station because christmas eve we're having an event here we're just like close family and kids and stuff like that so i want to have that ready and prepare all the ingredients and everything like that and then also i'm making a christmas charcuterie board so i did get the stuff to put on the charcuterie board but i do want to make it in advance because the stuff that i'm putting up there is not like things that you can't have um I would say like sitting out or like in the fridge you can have it like it, it can be prepared so i definitely want to do that the day before so i probably do that thursday so i won't have to worry about that come friday also i'm doing like finger foods and i have not bought any food to prep for that day so it's just different things that i need to do in the house before I go out there and try to get everything because I like to prep in the house first like write down exactly what I need so that when I go out in these streets I ain't got to worry about what do, do I need this what do, you know what I'm saying so that's what I'm doing in the house today so once again we don't really have an eventful day again today but I'm not gonna miss another day so y'all just go we just gonna make it do what it do okay <laughs> I just woke up not too long ago. Um, I just went downstairs to feed the twins. Kehlani, she kept spitting the food out. Khalil actually ate surprisingly. As far as Christmas, I pretty much have everything. I don't know. That's what I need to write down. Like, I don't know if anybody else is like this, but I be having everything in my head and I need to write it down because as long as it's in my head, it's just going to be all jumbled up and I need some structure. So, I, I'm going to write it down today, y'all. That's what I'm going to do. But I'm about to go downstairs and make me some coffee. Y'all don't see me make coffee so many times. I don't have to edit a video today because I didn't have any footage from yesterday. So, I don't have to worry about that. So, yeah. And these boys, these, these boys in here today my oldest too they cleaning up today because they just been they just been kids and not doing nothing they cleaning up today 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 this house is gonna be spick and span because i come downstairs this morning and crumbs or after i wipe the this is what makes me mad i wiped the table down last night why is it dorito crumbs all in the chair all on the table and all on the floor 
And the twins are so, Kehlani is so smart to the point where you know if you can't pick something up with your fingers by like picking it up, you can like press on it and it just gets stuck to your finger. She know to do that. So if she can't pick it up with her two little fingers, she'll press on it real hard. So she pressed it on the Dorito crumb and putting it in her mouth. So we, we, we cleaning up today, y'all. I'm so, I, I feel like, I feel like I have to clean up every day. Like, is this how my mom feel, ma? I know you watching this because my mom watch all my videos. Ma, did you have to clean up every day? <laughs> so y'all, I am in my office room now, but I just want to sit and talk to y'all again. So this vlog is going to be kind of in a mixture of me talking, doing a couple of things. I feel like how I'm feeling, I feel like it's going to be more of an emotional, not necessarily crying emotional, but just like a we talking about vlog if you don't like that i'm sorry y'all that's just how i am i'm 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 a very make jokes laugh type person but i also like to get down into talking about deep things and things like that if you don't like it i'm not your cup of tea that's fine i only want to attract people anyway that likes that because <laughs> i don't want nobody all up you know what i'm saying saying negative things so if you don't like it that's fine anyway so if you don't know i read a lot of books um i used to read a lot of like urban fiction books but now that i'm more like on a spiritual journey i'm reading more spiritual books the last book i finished was conversations with god and Honestly, you guys, I recommend anybody to read that book, whether you are a believer or not. Whether you acknowledge him as God or not. Um, as you know, because he has different names that people acknowledge him as. It doesn't matter. I recommend anybody to read that book because it has literally changed my outlook on a lot of things. And I feel like when people hear the title Conversations with God, they just feel like it's like a religious book but it's 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 not <laughs> so i would recommend anybody to read that book so anyway um now the book that i'm reading is atomic habits now i don't know about anybody else but if i get a hardback book and you know it has like the the you know the cover on it i'll i take it off because i don't listen it be keep coming off they need to find a way to keep that thing up there so this is the book right here hold on wait can you say that okay there you go atomic habits atomic habits by james clear and i found this book when i was in walmart and atomic habits you think of a book that you're just picking up about habits you're like what is it gonna say other than what we already know about habits but this book it breaks down it breaks it down so good and i think that's what i look for when i'm reading self-help books how are you gonna break it down for me to look at it differently um because we all know when it come down to habits you know it's like you have to if you really want to change your habits it's like you have to create a new habit but it can be hard this book has really broken down um in a way that i like you know with a definitely with a lot of facts and things like that and one of the main things it talks about is that when it comes down to changing a habit, it has to be um, the person that you're trying to change to or the habit you're trying to change to, it has to be in you. And he was saying that's why so many, time, so many times when it comes down to a new year, a new week, a new month, people say, you know, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, New Year's resolution. And being that it's not in your identity you might keep the momentum going for a couple of days a couple of weeks a couple of months but is if it's not in your identity meaning if you have not did the inside work first you're going to go right back to how you was i brought that up because you know it's about to be new year's and i feel like on this journey that i've been on it's so many things that i want to do you guys but when i tell you i have been doing the inside work it literally will like break you down and start making you look at yourself in a completely different way because you're like 
like I have a lot that I have to change and it's not on the outside it's on the inside when it come down to me like wanting to um you know eat healthy and work out and stuff like that you know in the book they were just talking about how that is one of the most popular new year's resolution but the thing is if you have not did the inside work mentally spiritually and say that this is something that i really want to change you're going to revert back to your old ways and it also mentioned it is not even just about um not to say that if you create a goal that you want to reach a certain weight by a certain date or if you're just trying to lose weight for a specific event even in that case you're gonna gain it back because it's like you're not like you're still doing it for an outside force like you're doing it because of this when you really you have to do it because it's in you like this is something that you want to do for yourself so you know that is just one of the things you know that um i really struggle with because I noticed that with myself it's like even when I'm not hungry I don't even be hungry but it just be the fact of that I just want to go on DoorDash or Uber Eats and just look to see what food they have up there that I can get even if I'm not really hungry so like I noticed that about myself and also when it come down to money like if I have some you know it's like I be looking for stuff to buy even when I don't need it so you know they just it was just saying that you really have to change yourself in the inside. And that is something that I'm working on, you guys. I'm really doing the work. I really am. Um, I've been looking at so many things so differently. And it does get me emotional because it's like uh, so many things that you have looked at that you might have thought that was so important. It's not. I just say that to say, you guys, anything that you want to change in life, you just have to really start from the inside out, not the outside in. With that being said, uh, I still have a long way to go, but I feel like that the fact that I have been doing the work now, you know, the goals that I'm setting for this upcoming year and beyond, I feel I know that they will be achievable because I'm looking at things so differently. I'm not doing what I'm doing just for validation or I'm doing it for myself. I'm doing it for myself. And, um, you know, it's, it's, I'm finding my purpose. I do feel like I, right now, I feel like I know what my purpose is. However, your purpose can change and your purpose can have different avenues. And that is another thing that I read in another book. I don't even know what book, y'all don't read so many books. I don't even know what book said this, but one thing it was saying is that people feel like that once they start doing one thing, you know, that's what they were meant to do. But once you start doing this, then it's gonna open this door and then this door and then this door. And you know what I'm saying? So it could be, you can have multiple purposes. But you just have to start somewhere. You can't just have everything in your mind. So, I just, I just want every, you know, anybody that is watching this video, if you are watching it, you know, I know right now my views are not a lot. That's fine. Whoever watched my video and just watch it. And even if you don't comment, it's one person that, like, she comment a lot. Her name is, uh... Teresa Teresa Robinson but it's just people like that that I don't take for granted because when I get to the point where I'm big you know I'm going to remember those people that was there from the beginning so that's why it's like even though I'm not to the point where I want to be at with my brand now I still try to deliver and get better because it's gonna come to me but I just can't focus on trying to chase it. So that's why I'm just trying to be my authentic and true self. Because as y'all know, I started out doing this YouTube stuff, doing makeup. If you didn't know, I privated all of those videos. So good luck. So um, I started out doing makeup. But, you know, as the twins came along and things like that, it's just not realistic. It's not realistic for me as a mom to set up this stuff in the background and take these videos and put on a full face of makeup trying to teach y'all something for me not to even wear it anywhere it's just not realistic so i had to change 
my goal with my channel and that's fine that's fine it may have been god's purpose just for me to start okay he knew i was gonna have twins before i knew i was gonna have twins i don't know why he did that to me. he knew <laughs> i just suggest my suggestion to anybody watching this is to just start with doing the soul work start with doing the soul work and let everything else lead after that it starts with an so that's my little ted talk for today you guys i just got finished re i mean not reading drinking my coffee and i i'm gonna read my book mindfulness can y'all see it this camera is either dark or light dark or light <laughs> stupid so mindfulness the little book of mindfulness and if y'all remember i was telling y'all in my um other video that when I had a reading from my friend, she was telling me that I need to practice mindfulness, which I do. I I, I do. So let me read y'all a passage from today. Ooh, let me read y'all this one because it's kind of what I said. Okay, it's not that long, y'all. If you can't sit through this, let's let's work on patience, okay? <laughs> All right. People can benefit from mindfulness whether they have a specific problem or not. Developing greater awareness can open us to seeing how the mind becomes entangled in and blinded by its own liking and disliking, pursuing and rejecting when we try to maximize our happiness. Mindfulness helps us see with greater clarity how we may approach our moment by moment experience skillfully, taking more pleasure in the good things that often go unnoticed or unappreciated, and dealing more effectively with the difficulties we encounter, both real and imagined. Human beings, by changing the inner attitudes of their minds, can change the outer aspects of their lives. William James. Then I just say that. But then I just say it start with it. Let me read that again. Human beings, by changing the inner attitudes of their minds, can change the outer aspects of their lives. You guys, I am not anywhere near where I want to be in life. But let me tell you, if you change your mindset, you can literally change your life. I promise you. I promise you. And I'm not even where I want to be at in life. Just change. start with changing your mind. Okay? So I'm tearing up and I'm not going to cry on camera today. So I'm about to go ahead and um, journal. Because I have a little black book that I journal in. So we're going to chat a little later. Bye. You guys. I know I said I was staying in the house all day. But I got out the house. <laughs> so we're about to go and back to body work. Oh, pretty. Mm -hmm. You guys, so I need some new wall fragrances. So I'm about to get some. I really like the cactus blossom, and I like black cherry merlot. Oh, they got twisted peppermint. I wonder how this smells. JC Penney's has a Sephora in it, so I want to go in here. So, y'all, last stop is Barnes and Nobles. Of course, I'm in the personal growth section. Like I told y'all earlier, just trying to get better. All over. Hi, you guys. If you're wondering, I'm back home and I'm laying on a bare mattress because my sheets are drying. But I want to show you guys what I got. I know my gown is also, I had three in here. So one of them got to be in the course. Oh, I think something fell out. Man, I think something fell out. It must have fell out in the car. Anyway, all I got from Bath and Body Works was um, their lip gloss 
and I got some hand cream. I got some hand cream, y'all, because I'm always ashy, so I'm gonna keep this in my car because I'm literally always ashy, but I'm always ashy because I'm always either washing my hands or putting hand sanitizer, and it dries out my hands, so I'm ashy for a good reason. <laughs> um, And I got this, let me show y'all. I don't know if you can see it because it's a little bright, but this is the Mentha Lip Shine. It's 100% natural mint. And the other one I got is vanilla mint. And that one says that it's two times more moisturizing. So I think that one I dropped, it dropped out in the car because um, the bag accidentally went upside down. But I like this one because it just, it's just clear. And if you like the feeling of mint, that's perfect. And it also moisturizes your lips which is something that I've been dealing with because it's getting cold outside, so. Um, yep. Okay, so there we got that. Nothing major from Bath & Body Works. And as y'all saw, I did go to, um, well, we, we went in H&M, but I didn't buy anything. My sister bought these for the twins, so if you wanna see what she got them. She got Kehlani this cute little sweater with like heart on it. Oh wait. And she got her these Winnie the Pooh tights, which is so cute. I didn't even see what she got her actually. I didn't look. And I guess this is, yeah, this is for her. Let's make memories together. This is 12 to 18, so it's gonna take them a little while to get into this. This is for Khalil. It's a shirt that has, why did she pay $20 for this? I hope it won't just $20 for the shirt. It can't be. Maybe because it came with the pants. Yeah, it gotta come with the pants too. Okay, so the shirt says Forest Friends and then it come with these olive green jeans. And then she got him a blue sweatshirt. Just a plain blue sweatshirt. And then she got him a plain gray sweatshirt. Okay. So that's what she got them for Christmas. Because normally we do um like gift cards for the kids, but my sisters they actually end up getting the twins like actual gift gifts so yeah and then I went to Barnes and Nobles you guys I got three books <laughs> um, I was weak because my sister she was hungry so she actually went and sat down to eat while I was looking around and she had ended up texting she was like because we have a group chat with one of our other friends and she, she was like, um, my sister walking in, walking around here like a, like an old woman. <laughs> and I don't, first of all, y'all, let me tell y'all, Barnes and Nobles, their prices are higher than books on Amazon. I'm not going to say it's like a big, huge difference. But for example, one book I got was $9.99. On Amazon, it was $8.99. Then the other book I got was $11.99. On Amazon, it was $7.99. So it is a difference in prices and Barnes and Nobles do not price match. But she did tell me that their books online, like on the Barnes and Noble website, can run a little bit cheaper. So if it's cheaper online, then they will price match that. But they're not price matching from Amazon, which sucks. But the thing is, with Amazon, you will have to wait for the package. Even I have Prime, so it will probably have came the next day or the day after. But I just wanted the book right then and there. So I just got it for the convenience of it. But anyway, I got three books. I got a, a book, a little bit of mindfulness. I talked about y'all, talked to y'all earlier about me tr practicing that more. So I got this book. Um, then I also got, oh, here go, y'all, I swear, being a mama, <laughs> I was looking for the bottle and it was in a Barnes and Noble bag. Okay, I got As a Man Think Of. I heard somebody talking about this book. I wanna say, 
It was somebody doing an interview on The Breakfast Club and Charlemagne asked them if you could recommend any books to like people, what books would you recommend? And they recommended As a Man Think Of. So I got that. <laughs> and I also got the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. If you have read any of these books, comment down below. Let me know what you think. But I do, before I get books, um, but I didn't do it with these, which I, usually because I get my books off of Amazon. But I'm going to go online and read the reviews on it. But I'm going to read it either way. And that's all I got, y'all. That's all I got. That's all I got. So, I don't know about anybody else, but I hate when you tie and your covers ain't dry. And then you know the covers take forever to dry. So, I have not eaten the twins. I know Khalil is up because he's been fighting sleep all day. Kaylani, I don't know. She might be asleep. Noel, which is my seven-year-old, he is asleep. And then Elijah, which is my oldest, he ain't asleep. He in there playing Fortnite. So, I'm about to order me some food from this Mexican place because... Y'all, I was supposed to be cleaning up today, and I'm just so drained. So, I'm going to have to definitely wake up tomorrow and clean up. But I'm about to order my food, y'all, and wait for my daggone stuff to dry. You guys, I done went downstairs, <clears throat> ate and everything, and my covers is still not dry. So, I found me a blanket, and I'm going to just sit here and wrap myself up in the blanket until <laughs> the covers dry because our dryer works off of their going sensor so it feels like the sensor tries to feel so like even if you set it on a specific setting which i set it on bedding which takes an hour and 20 minutes but if the dryer feels like the covers are dry it'll stop it so I guess it felt like certain parts of the covers, like the outside part, but the inside was still wet. So now I'm sitting on the covers. I mean, I'm sitting on the bed with some cover, with one cover, no fitted sheet, no, just a cover that like an extra comforter that we had. And I'm about to wrap myself up in this. Honestly, I'm not going to be able to sleep like this, but I wanted to come upstairs and get in the bed. So I'm just about to watch. TV, I'm going to watch Power Book 2 because I'm behind like a couple of episodes. So, I'm going to do that, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog right here, you guys. I know today was a whole bunch of talking. I know, I know, I know. Okay, forgive me. But we ain't really do nothing today. So, yeah. <laughs> tomorrow should be a more... Tomorrow and the day after that... And the day after that will be eventful. So that's it for this vlog, you guys. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Would y'all believe all this time I had the dryer on air only and no heat?